What a friend we have Jesus All our sins and griefs to bear What a privilege to carry Everything to God Have we tried and tempted Patience, cumbered with a load of care. Precious Savior, still my refuge. Thou wilt find the solace there. Good morning. Here we are. I don't even know how many Trailer Boy churches this is. Trailer Boy Church is a thing that I was doing even before I was doing it on Facebook because I would get up on Sunday mornings, much like my grandfather used to do, and I would play a bunch of the old hymns that used to strengthen and shore up my uh, belief system back in the day. And um, and what I find now in the, in the singing of them is that... Uh, the object of worship, though, bear with me for a second. The object of worship is unimportant. It's not, it's not what actually gets the job done, right? It's not the object. It's not the being that you believe that you're singing to that's actually getting things done inside of you when you sing these songs. It's you getting your own inner soil kind of prepped and mulched and settled through song. And uh, it's really interesting to me. We critters do not like it uh, when people fuck with our religions or any of our beliefs, any of our opinions. They're so precious. They are Smeagol precious to us. So precious, my precious. Our opinions our thoughts and our feelings that generate from our bodies as a product of our dance through life, we, at the center of our being, have a sense of urgency around them all that a lot of us don't recognize as something we don't have to necessarily attend 24-7, 365. And so people are caught up in that. Uh, and so you can see, for instance, a person not liking the idea that, oh, when I sing this song, this song, what a friend we have in Jesus. It's not what a friend we have in Buddha or Allah or Thor or Odin. It's Jesus. It's specific. This is a song written by a person about Jesus um, and his perception of a relationship to Jesus. And that's this, this song. He wrote this song. I wrote, I don't know, close to 100 of these kinds of songs. And at the end of the day, I, who had the experience, can recognize that every time I wrote Jesus a song, I was writing it for a different version of Jesus. Because my understanding of this person, this historic figure, this religious figure, this mythological figure, all of these things are true. My, uh, my sense of all of it could only go through the lens of my current experience. And I can look back, and I can do it, I can write it up on a white chart, how my version of Jesus changed all along the way to become something vastly different than the one that I started out with. The Jesus at the beginning of my journey as a fundamentalist, Pentecostalish, very intense young man was a lot gentler and kinder at the end of it all when I wrote my song about the woman at the well and about how Jesus accepted and loved everybody, hands down, everybody. Judas sat at his table all the way through, right? And so, now I, I could sing this song just as easy and say, What a friend I have in Buddha. 
but it'd be a different flavor, right? But it's it's all pointing the same direction. And I think I'm saying this just to say that when we sing, it doesn't matter what God you think you're singing to. It's the singing that gets the work done. When you pray, and I, I still pray. I'm an agnostic, atheist. I still pray. I don't pray to a God. I don't pray to a being. I talk to myself. But I recognize that in the talking to myself, there is a an evening, an evening out, a leveling out, and a move toward acceptance, a move toward laying out before me what I think I perceive. And so it becomes as helpful as journaling or free writing, but it's not the being, it's not the object of faith. William James nailed this pretty well in his uh, exploration of the varieties of religious experience. Um, and this is how they ultimately got to the 12 steps as a tool. Because religion is a tool that humans created. God is a concept, which is a tool that humans use in order to increase and experience a difference in their understanding. It's a concept. And the folks who believe the deepest and the strongest aren't able to see the concept. They only see the being that they believe is there and real. So you have some people who are following a Jesus who's white-skinned and blue-eyed, and he has a six-gun uh, strapped to his belt, and he holds up an American flag, and he rides a tank with Donald Trump. And that fits their faith. That fits their version of Jesus. Just the same as... A person caring for the poor, caring for the sick, caring for the lost and disillusioned. They're following the Jesus they see. And we don't have a time machine, but I'm fairly confident that we'll find that Jesus was not, based on the, the teachings that we at least can agree he probably had, he was not a person running around on a tank with a pistol and an American flag. He was not a nationalist. He cared about people. But um, anyway, <clears throat> we can get a lot of traction um, in our beliefs, in beliefs that are not true. And uh, it's not the actual truth of it. If, you, if you're if you a reader, go look up my short story, If Dragons Mass Eve Be Cold and Clear. It's on Tor.com. The character in there says often, it doesn't have to be true to be real. See the mountains up ahead of me I see the valley where I've been And stretching out stones of remembrance Prove you've been a faithful friend Remember when we wrestled in the night Long and cry until I'm one and limped away with my identity. I saw your face was undone. I am undone. I see always so surprised. And undone by all of you. You give me a brand new You take away my shame And you grant me grace When I wrote this, I was projecting through a lens, right? Into something I could not possibly believe Which is that I was enough And that I had built into all of the capacity for life that I needed if I could just figure out things inside the four walls of Ken. But I could only see life the way that I've been shown to see life until I could see that there was more to see. It's kind of that way for us. And so for a long chunk of my life, I saw it through this lens of faith. And I don't think faith is a bad thing. 
faith is a part of the human experience. But I think where you put your faith and why you put your faith can be a slippery slope. Because we're wired for fitness, fueled by belief. And most of us believe we're seeing the truth. When in reality, what we're seeing is a story that we're putting together in our minds based on our Go from home to pigsty easily, prodigal son. I find I falter more than not. I trade the rope for my rich father's care. For my own rags of self-righteousness and rot. If you embrace me just the way I am or I was learning how to embrace myself just the way I was you say to me you're still my son oh, oh, oh. reckless love or my reckless love is rearranged because it's inside of us all the time I saw your face and was undone I am undone I see you Always so surprised to see your face I am undone And being undone seems like it might be a bad thing Or a good thing But it's kind of both and neither Because it's kind of a raising to the ground And then a reconstruction All the things you give me a grand name You take away my shame And grant me grace This is like the third to the last Christian song I wrote Grace Amazing grace Another great song, right? About a slave trader who figured out that he was wrong. It changed his life completely. And he wrote that really simple song that has become entrenched in our Western thought. I mean, we even hear it at the end of Star Trek, The Wrath of Khan, right? Maybe. See? How sweet the sound Save Ah, wretch Like me Oh, I once was Lost But now I'm found man as a matter of fact if you think about it that first verse there's just not even a mention of anything other than amazing grace that's sweet that changes us it's true it's the truth it's just that you gotta cut out all the middle people and just love yourself not so unlovable, not so damaged, that you can't extend grace to yourself, forgiveness, love, compassion, whatever you want to call it, but we can't give it to others until we have it for ourselves, and we don't need to get it from any being other than ourselves, it's in you already, and it's a combination of Recognize what power you do have and what power you don't have. And then you set out with courage to change.
least things that can be changed around you in your life, inside of you. Or with grace or serenity to accept the things that you just need to accept that aren't going to change. And then I've come up with this third thing. Because I think the wisdom to know the difference is great. But the wisdom to know the difference comes from having the patience. Oh my goodness, I don't know how many times I sang that song as a completely, utterly lost soul. Believing that I was a found, a foundling, right? And uh, again, wired for fitness, fueled by faith, fueled by the beliefs that we have in our noggins, moving us forward, right, wrong, or indifferent. They, well, there is no indifference when it comes to that stuff. We have these strong and urgent, very urgent, my precious, my precious. And then we chase it. But life can be, well, life can be quieter. Life can be more joyful than anything I had before. Uh, life can be quite beautiful. I think I'm going to wrap it up with just this one last song. The one that I think points everywhere needs to be pointed to these days. I guess it's the closest thing I have to a new batch of good news that I want to share, which is that Right here, right now, is what you have. your hand with mine upon the bark of this redwood tree. Take the breath, let it go. That space between holds all the peace you'll ever need to know. Follow that quiet feeling. Darlings, be here now. Sufficient under the day. Be here now. Lay with me. All this blanket in the wind. While it whispers to the sea. Hold my hand. Look toward home. My eyes like that Don't you know you meet my soul Follow that heart be pounding down And darlings be here now When the storm clouds fill your eyes they overtake your smile I know that you'll realize Oh, in just a little while That every single question Ever asked about The why or how Is simply answered Be here Watch with me The harvest moon is rising Yonder past that old oak tree So stand and shout Sing and dance Life's upon you, you're alive 
Every now is another chance Follow those freedom feelings down And darlings be here now Follow those freedom feelings down Be here now. It's the only time you got. I used to spend a lot of my time in the past trying to, or in the future trying to. They don't exist. They're over. The past is over. The future hasn't happened yet. freedom in figuring that little piece out. Okay. I think that's Trailer Boy Church for today. Go and thin no more, as the Holy Spirit said to the Baptists who were painting their building with watery paint. Repaint thinners and thin no more. Okay. Have a happy Sunday.